All right, we're here. I, uh, I'm dissecting this uh, gear wrench 120 XP ratchet. Um, I've had this for four years, approximately four to five years. Um, I'm actually going to open another one too. Uh, this is, here's the part number on it. It's a three ace drive standard. It is an eight one two one one P. Isn't Paul? You see the chrome finish. Uh, it's taking a beating. Still in actually good shape. Down the handle. Um, the selector has taken a beating, uh, as you can see. Still seems to work. The O-ring in there is not leaking oil. Um, top of the ratchet. There's insides. I have opened this once and put a squirt of oil in it. That's about it, though. Um, see some, like, sludge and whatnot in there. It's like some grease or something. Or some metal or dirt or whatever has gotten in there. Selector. It's in good shape. See, it's got two little detent. Um, little detents in there with springs. One appears to be pushed down, might be stuck. I'll pull that out in a sec. Yeah, there's that. But here is the actual drive and gear. This has seen some hard use. Um, and it still looks good. See, it's still pretty dirty. It's got a good amount of oil on it. Um, I just wiped this down real quick once I pull it apart. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Here's one of the two Pauls. Focus, please. There you go. Teeth look good. Um, yeah, that actually looks looks to be in good shape. Here's the other one. Teeth look nice and sharp. Or nice and, you know, not deformed. Or anything like that. They look to be in good shape. Uh, here's the dust cover. There's nothing really too special about that. <laughs> you can see how dirty it is. You can see that's the inside where the oil was, where it was riding. Um, you can see kind of what some wear where the gear was sliding, but oil took care of most of that. It's in good shape. Nothing too special there. Dirty, very dirty. Um, I don't know where the snap ring went. Uh, snap ring's over here. Dirty. But yeah, snap ring's fine. I mean, it's not really a wear item, but it is of note that it's in good shape. Uh, I'm gonna put this back together. And focus. We'll dissect this one next. This is the longer handle flex head. Also 120 XP. You can see. This is my favorite ratchet. This is the one I, I grab every day, pretty much every time. You know, if I can access it with this, this is generally what I use. But you can see this one's the finish is, is much more beat uh, because of how much more use it gets. Oh, uh, I can see how dirty and trash that is. Yeah, but I mean it's the chrome finish is holding up. Uh, there's no corrosion. Let's see, looking here, detent there is still good. You can see some wear from it moving, but that's kind of to be expected. It's still pretty, pretty strong. So we'll open this one up right now, actually. Scoot all this stuff over. Take this one here. Oh man, that one's 
I don't want to destroy it, poor, poor wretched. Um, here's the gear. Oh yeah, that's pretty crusty, ain't it? It's still in good shape, though. This one I have never taken out and oiled. Um, this one's been dropped in, in solvents and uh, coolant, oil, every fluid you can imagine. Um, but I've never opened this one. Get more in the light there. Yeah. The pole's just crooked. It's not broken. Well, let's see. That's in good shape still. Teeth are still sharp and defined. And I dropped it. That's good. Um, the other paw looks to be in good shape. Both the detents are still up in that one. Um, oh my god, so dirty. Yeah, everything's in good shape though. So overall, I'd say these uh these 120 XPs are pretty good. Um, the only real downside with them is not made in the United States, which uh, it's it's one thing, but I mean, I guess it's not the worst. They're made in Taiwan. Um, they are better than these pieces of junk. I don't know why I have this. It's just kind of there. This has gotten so little use, but the yeah, that sucks. These these suck. Um, I do have the bigger 120 XP, the half inch drive. That's what's seen some use too. Screw it. See how it looks inside. Let's get these aside real quick. So I don't lose all these parts. Snap ring can fuck off. Let's open this one up. So I've had this one about the same length of time. Bigger snap ring, obviously. Tap inch drive. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This one's got some coolant in it. Focus. There you go. It's got some coolant in it, and uh, it looks good. Detent ball is nice and springy still. No real wear. Um, teeth look good. You can see where those two paws ride. I think that's just dirt. Yeah, it's just dirt in the, in the actual groove, see? Yeah. So that looks good. The paws look actually great. Teeth look good. Um, came out like that. Detents nice and springy in there still. Looks good. It's not leaking. Chrome's still alright. No corrosion, really. I mean, a little bit of fucking shit in there, but yeah, these uh, gear wrenches are good. They're skookum, as Abe would say. Abe, oh, the fuck that said. Uh, I am one for cheap tools, as long as they work. If something is cheap and it doesn't work, then that's when you upgrade. That's when you get the snap on or. You know, you get next step up, you go up, step up until it works, but, uh... But really, these hold up. These hold up really good. Um, we've had snap-on ratchets, Mac ratchets. I have a couple Macs somewhere. These old, uh... Cornwell. This one's seen some shit. It's very old. But, yeah, these 120 XPs are my favorite. Highly recommend them to anyone. Professional hobbyist, whatever, whatever you are. Highly recommend them. They're great. 
thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I can do more tool reviews if or breakdowns or whatever. Got a U.S. General uh, Harbor Freight box and then the Harbor Freight uh, uh, tool cart. Do some videos on those. Got a bunch of shit laying around. Do some videos about. Yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.